Nityanandam, how many of you are afraid to have your Kundalini energy awakened? Do you know what is Kundalini Shakti? Basically, Kundalini energy is our inner potential energy which reside at the root of the spine called the Muladhara Chakra. See, along our body, there are seven energy centers called chakras. Kundalini energy reside at the root center, Muladhara Chakra, as a koi energy, as a potential energy. Once it is awakened, it travels along the spine for the flowering of the higher consciousness. Basically, the spiritual awakening happens when once Kundalini energy is awakened and you literally experience the conscious bliss. This is Manitya Dugananda. You're at my YouTube channel, Your Presence Heals. This video is about the healing effect of Kundalini energy awakening and the signs of levitation as well as my personal experience when I had my Kundalini energy awakening. See, for an ordinary human being, without the awakened Kundalini energy, he or she will be existing at the physical plane, the normal human plane, where the energy will be used for procreation as a householder and existing as per what the society defines. Whereas, if that individual starts to question about the purpose of life, the higher purpose of life, the spiritual seeking starts, uh, which leads one to the uh, see, awakening of the spiritual you know, consciousness and along the path the awakening of the Kundalini energy happens. When the Kundalini energy is awakened one enter into the zone the called the thoughtless zone, no mind zone, Samadhi. What is Samadhi? Sama means falling in tune. Adi means the source. So Samadhi means falling in tune with the soul, being in oneness with the source. Basically, the individual spirit experiencing the universal spirit. See in the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, where he outlined the eight limbs of yoga, Ashtanga Yoga, the last limb is Samadhi. So to experience oneness, yoga, union, uniting the body, mind, spirit with the universal spirit, awakening of the Kundalini Shakti, life, the inner potential energy is a must. So let me just share with you my personal experience. Before I met my guru, my enlightened guru, his name is Paramahamsa Sri Nityananda. He's a living incarnation, living in the present times and I was already treading on the path of yoga as a yoga teacher and whatever I received the, about the science of yoga was from my yoga teacher who taught me a lot about the physical dimension of yoga, you know, the, the asanas and also the breathing and all that, but never much about the energy work, the deeper level of yoga. So what I heard from her about the awakened Kundalini energy is that um, she had heard about people's kundalini energy uh, getting awakened without uh, doing it properly, experiencing hallucination, perversion, madness. So from there, I gather that the awakening of the kundalini energy can be quite frightening and dangerous. That was what my take up from her. Obviously, um, her kundalini energy is not awakened and that's what she's only sharing based on her understanding. Now, fast forward to 2011, where I met my guru, Swamiji. During that time, he already started to share the signs of awakening the Kundalini energy. And I remember in January 2011, I was in the Bangalore Adinam, the ashram, attending a four day program called Nityananda Spuruna program. That was my third time attending that program and in that process he awakened the kundalini energy of the participants and I can say literally in front of my eyes many different bodily reactions after the powerful awakening in his physical presence I saw people jumping people levitating people rolling 
on the ground from one end of the hall to the other end of the hall people screaming at the top of their lungs so basically literally the whole hall was like transformed into a madhouse and you can imagine I was I felt so uncomfortable and but I sat and I told Swamiji in my inner space that please awaken my Kundalini energy such that it's done gracefully <laughs> because I didn't want to be rolling on the ground <laughs> like what I'm seeing in others and he did that my first experience was so beautiful when I sat the energy started to swirl my body started to rotate and I was not able to con Throw this energy it was just rotating and in a circular motion, and slowly chakra by chakra, uh, the energy was rising up one by one. Every energy center till it reaches the crown center. It, I experienced an explosion, uh, uh, basically jostling of the whole body, where I was thrown out of balance, and in that moment, I experienced this thoughtless zone. This vast space of bliss that was my very first experience of kundalini energy awakening you see after i came back from the program i continued to work on my kundalini energy see for people with the awakened kundalini energy you need to you need to take some time for it to be stabilized um, so that was what i did uh, and Swamiji started to introduce a very powerful Kriya called En Kriya, Enlightened Kriya, which was gifted by uh, the Siddhas. What he did was he reorganized the whole uh, Kriya and presented and shared with the world. So it is, it is a seven-step process. And for nine months, I was uh, practicing this Kriya. In fact, for the very first six weeks, I was doing twice a day. In fact, he said that if you do this Kriya three times a day, you will experience enlightenment. For two times a day, you will experience the, the signs of levitation. And uh, if you do it once a day, you will experience the effect of this Kriya. So for nine months, I was doing this Kriya. And by the six weeks of this uh, uh, practicing this Kriya, twice a day, my, the levitation happened and I was able to experience the body uh, levitating. See, why do people levitate? Let me just share with you the signs of levitation. When a body has a lot of, carries a lot of engraved memories called samskara, engrams, it makes us heavy, pull us down, gravitates. So, unless the Kundalini energy is awakened, this powerful awakening basically shattered the mind, shattered the egos, and a lot of those negative emotions like lust, fear, greed, depression, all the negative energy, those engraved memories start to lose its power over you. In that moment, the expanded state of consciousness, the vastness, where you experience the thoughtless zone, naturally the body levitates. It starts to move upwards, away from the gravitational pull of the earth. So that's what the signs of levitation. When every time a person levitates, experience the jumping of the body. So many positive thing, things can happen, positive things can happen. One, the body undergoes tremendous healing. All the diseases and all that start to get healed. And the mind enter into the thoughtless zone, the breakdown of the patterns, the negative thought currents also happen. And you enter into this outer state of consciousness where you experience the conscious bliss, ananda, and also the space you experience is that of a creative zone. You receive a lot of inspiration uh, from the consciousness for many things in your life. So the effect of the levitation has got many, many positive ones and 
uh, based on my personal experience, the levitation not only make your body feel light, but you experience the lightness of the being and you experience enormous creativity oozing out every pore of your skin. So now, how to go about preparing the body for the awakening of the Kundalini energy? From the Yoga Sutra, Patanjali said that the body and mind needs preparation and finally, of course, the very important component is the initiation by an enlightened guru, the grace of the enlightened master. Let me go through one by one. First, the body preparation through yoga asanas, the yoga posture, kriyas, the cleansing technique to remove all the toxin which we accumulate through the unconscious living the lifestyle, and also diet. What we put into this body, a lot of preparation, the right food needs to happen, the satric vegetarian food. Basically, ensure that it is organic uh, without all the uh, side effects of the pesticide addictives as well as the GMO product, genetically modified um, you know, product. So the food preparation is also important. Who prepares the food? The person who prepares the fruits must be also a spiritual seeker who is working towards the path of enlightenment, not someone who is stuck uh, in the negativity of living in the samsara, the cycle of life and death. So for the body component, asana, yoga, basically kriyas and sattvic food, vegetarian food. Now, as for the mind, the mind can be purified through pranayama, through different breathing techniques uh, given in the Yoga Sutra, as well as the higher understanding of the tattvas, you know, the consciousness, uh, the truth uh, given from the enlightened master, the sages like the Upanishad, the Vedas, all that which outlines the truth about the consciousness in terms of who we are. And of course, the completion of our past hangover, basically uh, the completion of all our incompletion from the past, which purified the inner space, the dust we, correct, we collected uh, uh, after we assumed the body. So that's for the preparation of the mind. And finally, the, the initiation by the enlightened guru. See, an enlightened guru uh, whose kundalini energy is fully awakened is literally like a transmission of the lit lamp to another unlit lamp whereby the lighting of the lamp happens through the initiation called diksha. Initiation by enlightened guru is a must for the safe awakening of the kundalini energy. I would never recommend anyone to awaken the kundalini energy by an enlightened person or by themselves because so many things could go wrong. Based on my personal experience, when my kundalini energy was awakened by my guru, uh, a living incarnation, I only experienced positive effect, no negative side effect at all. Everything is positive in a sense of the healthier body, you know, powerful inner space, creative mind, constantly feeling energetic, uh, all the boredoms and tightness uh, left my system, and I am fully um, always feeling that ability to manifest what I want in the physical plane. So literally, when your kundalini energy is awakened, you live uh, like a liberated one, jiva mukta, living enlightenment. So this is what I would basically recommend if you are seriously a sincere seeker wanting to awaken your kundalini energy only go to the enlightened guru a living incarnation who are able to awaken your kundalini energy safely without any adverse effect and you only get to enjoy the outer state of consciousness the higher consciousness the samadhi and experiencing oneness with the source so with that that's what I have to share in this video. If you have any question whatsoever regarding this topic, feel free to sh ask me the question uh, at the bottom of this video. 
I'll be more than delighted to answer them uh, based on my best ability and my knowledge. With that, I would love to conclude this video. I thank you for listening and Nityanandam.